hey guys, Alexi here with PokerVIP.com, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a short on drawing in PLO. And um, essentially, I have a little system um, I use to go over hands uh, that have to do with drawing. It's essentially uh, I, I plug my hand in and I plug in my uh, villain's possible hands or a range or his exact hand, and um, I then do the pot odds. Uh, I was getting throughout the whole hand and then I compare them with the equities I was getting throughout the whole hand and um, this little process is kind of um, I use to uh, to make sure I'm not putting my money in bad on all streets and um, I'm just gonna go through uh, a few hands uh, a few examples uh, from PLO play uh, and then we're gonna put them through the grinder and uh, see how they uh, fare up and um, I'm gonna just I guess sh show the uh, show show uh, some steps of the process, and then you can do it later on by yourself, or um, or, or you can just um, watch while I do it and see if um, I guess just see if, if you um, think it's a good way to do things or not, and you know just decide for yourself. But anyway, um, here we go. Uh, so so there's really not uh, uh, so there's really not much games going on. Uh, this is the only game going on right now, the twenty five fifty cent game PLO, and. Um, I'm just looking for some examples. Uh, I got my toolbox up here. I got the the notepad, the calculator. I also got the um, uh, the equity calculator and the um, and another notepad. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some example spots of uh, drawing to a hand. Uh, as soon as we get re-raised, essentially, um, that's gonna be um, uh, I'm gonna be looking for spots that are closer to calls than folds or raises. And then uh, we're gonna actually show you in depth why they're calls and they're not folds or raises. So um, let's get into that. Uh, so for example, this spot um, uh, we never got raised anywhere in the hand except uh, we got let into on the river. Uh, when we get lead it, let into on the river, or just there's any sort of raise in the river, uh, there's no more drawing. Uh, the river is the only card where there's uh, exactly no drawing going on. Uh, you either made your hand or you didn't, and um, Essentially, on the river, uh, somebody has a hundred percent, like a check mark, and somebody has a zero percent. Uh, this could be quite obvious, but I think some players, um, you know, um, aren't sure exactly uh, what's going on on the river. Uh, but um, uh, this is just kind of a brief overview for beginners, I guess. Uh, there's no drawing on the river, so there's essentially going to be drawing on every street except the river. So there's pre-flop. Uh, you're essentially drawing if somebody raises you. And you believe you have the worst hand uh, on the flop? There's going to be drawing. Uh, if you get raised and you feel you have the worst hand, uh, also the turn. So three streets. Uh, so the first hand we're going to look at is this um, double suited uh, rundown in the small blind that we have. I chose to limp it against the big blind. Um, it's not too standard, but uh, I do have a limping range, especially when I don't have any reads on the villain. So sometimes I tend to limp hands that um, obviously I'm not folding if I limp. So I'm just going to defend and uh, see a flop with a hand that flops pretty well. Um, flop is um, we flop a gut shot and a backdoor spade draw along with a five. Uh, also, our set is probably an out. Um, it may be an out. Um, so I decided to go ahead and check to the razor. Um, he goes ahead and bets three fourths of the pot. Um, I, I guess what the exercise we're gonna do here is uh, I just wanna uh, see how our equity is against uh, the best hand that he can have, or what one of the top hands he can have, which is aces, uh, aces with no redraw. Um, since he raised preflop, uh, aces are well in his range, and sometimes he does have them. So um, I just wanted to see. Uh, because I believe uh, with our hand calling uh, in this spot against aces is probably uh, a decent play because uh, we do have enough outs I think and uh, we're just going to do some math to uh, see exactly uh, uh, we're going to look at the pot odds we're getting here and we're going to look at uh, how much equity we need against uh, say a hand like aces to continue uh, so in this spot this is our pot odds calculations uh, after we call this 450, the pot is going to be 14.3, 14 dollars to 30 cents, and it's going to be four dollars and fifty cents for us to call. So we're getting roughly uh, 3.18 to one. So we're getting roughly three to one. So um, with those pot odds, uh, we're going to need it uh, 31. Uh, 
and a half plus equity to continue and uh, in this we would use an equity calculator to get um, the way I did this is uh, it's pretty simple I just used the regular calculator and what I did was uh, obviously this is the bet uh, it's for four dollars and fifty cents to us so I just put that here the 450 and uh, to get this number at the top you just uh, add 450 um, you just pretend like you call and you also add the pot so if you add these three numbers you get this number at the top uh, to get this number you just uh, divide the top number by the bottom number and to get this number you just divide uh, the second number by the first number so that's how you get these four stats or these four um, uh, I guess, uh, variables and um, now we have to do an equity calculation using an equity calculator, an Omaha equity calculator, to uh, find out if we have enough equity uh, against the hand like aces. Uh, I'm going to use uh, pro poker tools, so you would just uh, put in our hand. Oh, first, you would actually put in the board. So uh, the board is uh, five of diamonds, ace of spades, four of hearts. Uh, our hand is going to be. Um, Six of club, six of spades, uh, five of club, eight of spades. And uh, we're just going to put one of his top hands. Uh, let's just put a top set as the hand. Uh, we're not doing we're not doing a range uh, calculation because uh, that's actually pretty in depth. We'd have to build a range for him, and that's good. that would take a while. And that's for another lesson. But, uh, we would just put in a uh, ace of club. Is diamond and uh, we'll, we'll put in an offsuit queen nine spade nine of heart. Okay, so we're gonna simulate and uh, we're gonna get the stats here. So notice against uh, one of his strongest hands here, uh, uh, our equity is gonna be 19% uh, against top set. We have 19% equity. Uh, in this spot, if you knew he had exactly top set. Uh, you wouldn't be getting enough equity to continue. You would need uh, ten percent more, about ten percent more, to make the call here and make the correct call. So essentially, if uh, he showed you top set here, if he f uh, fl uh, flipped up his cards, uh, you would have to fold. Uh, you're just not getting the right price. And uh, this bet, this four fifty, would need to be closer to uh, three dollars for you to get the right price. Um, because uh, th then um, the pot odds would. Uh, they would uh, this number would get smaller and uh, it would match this number so uh, he's making it too expensive for us to call here and uh, yep and uh, it would make this a fold if we knew he had exactly top set obviously uh, I knew that he doesn't just have top set here he has uh, some bluffs and stuff so I made go ahead and made the call and the hand ended up playing out where I uh, ri rivered uh, trips uh, and uh, he does he uh, doesn't have uh, he actually has an ace a lot here just like an ace he's defending and wants to see a showdown so I went ahead and uh, bet pretty small and I think he folded so that's how the hand went but uh, I think this equity calculation was interesting here on the flop um, and it shows that uh, if we, we knew exactly what he had that uh, we could make the correct fold uh, this is our next hand in the same exercise we're gonna use the same process to uh, get an idea for this hand uh, here we have uh, single suited uh, jacks with a, a rundown of 8-9 so there's a gap instead of a 10 it's a jack um, I went ahead and isolate with this hand which I think is pretty standard the hand is very strong on the button so I go ahead and isolate here uh, I get two calls the limper does call and uh, we flop middle set and then the the smallest straight the not small straight so obviously we're just uh, we're comfortable getting it in against these stacks um, th what's interesting is uh, this guy's gonna telegraph his hand right away so we're actually gonna uh, kind of assume he has ace king here when he uh, pot leads the pot into two players. Uh, this is usually ace king. Sometimes it's uh, pocket queens. Obviously we can't fold with, with our hand, but uh, we're gonna change our hand up a little bit and um, do a little equity calculation. Um, we're gonna get rid of our small straight because that essentially uh, jack knives or I'm sorry. Uh, that essentially jackhammers us to this board. We can't ever fold to this. So uh, we're going to get rid of our small straight and we're going to see how jacks do against ace king. So, so first we're going to do the pot out calculation. Uh, here I'm just going to change all these numbers. Uh, th this is actually going to be easy. I don't have to use the calculator because you can see that uh, 
his 10, uh, this 10 in the middle, and uh, assuming we call 10, there's going to be $30.03 in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that in the middle. Uh, it's going to be exactly $10 for us to call, so I'm going to change this number to $10. Uh, we're getting a century three to one. Uh, the three cents we're just gonna forget about. So we're getting three to one here, uh, and three to one is gonna be thirty-three uh, percent equity. Thirty-three point three percent equity is how much we need to continue. So um, and next uh, we already said how we're gonna look at this hand. We're gonna um, assume that uh, I didn't have the eight nine because um, we're just gonna use, use a simple example where because uh, th this does muddy the example a little bit. So we're going to use a more simple example where we're, we're going to get rid of the bottom straight and we're just going to give him ace king up. Assuming he does have ace king here a lot, which I, I believe he does. So um, that's beside the point. But okay, um, our hand here is going to be, um, and we're going to give him um, ace king x. Uh, we're just going to give him ace king with no redraw. And we're going to see how, uh, what's the correct play against a $10 bet. Uh, uh, I guess we're going to see if we can call. Um, it's pretty obvious to some of you guys who already play PLO that... Uh, this is definitely going to be a call if we know he has ace king, but uh, we're just going to look at it anyway because uh, it's a good exercise. Uh, so we quickly see that we're, we're getting, uh, in this example, we're getting 36% equity, about 37% equity. So uh, that's that's a little more than 33 that we need. So uh, we can comfortably make this call with jacks here, uh, middle set, knowing that he has the nuts. So this would be a call. And um, it, a, a fold would just be wrong. Uh, you would just be folding for the right price, and uh, a raise would just be too ambitious. I, I think uh, if if we had way more equity, obviously if we had uh, um, anyway, uh, we just need a lot more equity to raise. So anyway, uh, we have enough equity for a call here. So uh, uh, knowing knowing that um, we're gaining three to one, and we have thirty seven percent equity, we can go ahead and comfortably call here and uh, play the turns accordingly. Uh, in this particular hand. Um, I had the bottom straight as well, and um, I, I I figured that was enough equity to raise. I think he has pocket queens here sometimes, as long as uh, some two pairs with diamonds and stuff. So I went ahead and just shoved, and I think that's the best play. Uh, he, he ended up having ace king here. And, uh, he had no diamond. He had backdoor spades as well, which is uh, but this ten ended the action, so because it gave me a boat. So that's how this hand played out. Uh, let's look for a couple more examples. I think we already did some equity, uh, equity slash pot outs examples, but let's do a couple more. Uh, this is going to be the last hand for this session. Um, if you guys enjoyed this uh, pot outs uh, e equation, um, pot outs slash equity, uh, I guess a review or canned review session, uh, just let me know. I'll do a couple more. Uh, but anyway, I lost the other hand I was going to do, so I'm going to do this one uh, uh, instead. This one shows a good ex example of a uh, opposite drawing, or uh, <laughs> it actually shows one example of drawing dead, and uh, another example of a uh, reverse drawing, and also uh, an example of a of a, a, a uh, I'm sorry, a blocker, uh, like a blocker safe on the river where uh, we get kind of bailed out. But uh, let's take a look at it. There's not going to be a much um, much pot outs calculation in this one, but uh, I think it's an interesting example nonetheless. I'm going to use instead of uh, the other one that I was going to use. Uh, so we decided to make a pretty loose defend against a short stack and a small blind. Uh, pretty bad, probably just the fold, but uh, we go ahead and made it. So we flopped the uh, uh, the second nut straight. Uh, we're obviously going to just check it to the razor. Uh, but uh, this guy kind of surprises, and he leads up uh, for three fourths the pot into uh, into the razor and into us. Uh, this is obviously a big hand. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the nuts uh, or if this is uh, some sort of set. Uh, it could be a big draw. Uh, but we can't fold at this stage. Um, essentially, uh, uh, the example here is that we're not drawing here. Uh, we do have a jack as an out, uh, which would probably give us the nuts. Or, or the nuts against his range, at least. Uh, so, um, uh, we can actually do a quick... Uh, equity calculation to see uh, how this hand does against the nuts uh, and if we can call this but I don't think we can but uh, let's just do that so we at least uh, use this format for this hand as well um, so I'm, I'm gonna kinda um, round these numbers up so uh, 10 plus 8 plus 8 um, is gonna be uh, 26 
and it's, and it's gonna be eight dollars to us. And that's gonna be uh, uh, so. So we got these calculations on the right done. Uh, obviously, you guys already know the steps by now. We're gonna plug this hand in, see what the equity is on the, our calculator. Queen of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, Six of Hearts, Eight of Diamonds. Uh, against what we're going to assume is, uh, I think he does have the jack eight here a lot with no redraw, we're going to assume. Uh, so as we see uh, in our other examples, um, uh, we just don't get the equity here. We have a, uh, this is backwards, but we have a 22% um, equity versus the nuts. So, um. Right, so we, we have 22% equity versus the nuts. That's just not enough. We need 30% plus equity to make the call here, to make the call profitable. So if we call here, we're essentially um, uh, burning money, really. If we know, if we if he shows us a jack eight and we call, we're burning money. But obviously we have the second nuts. So we'll, um, I'll just show you how guys how this hand played out. I right, called. Uh, so this has been um, some examples we did. Using the uh, little pot odds method that I use, um, pot odds calculations are on the right, um, general info on the left, including the equities at the bottom, and uh, our calculator um, right there, the poker, uh, pro poker tools calculator. Uh, we also use the regular calculator, um, so we did use that. Um, uh, essentially, you can do it with. with um, uh, uh, with your any PLO hands that uh, you can review, so like any boom hands on stars, any uh, holder manager two or poker tracker four hands that you have saved, uh, you can go ahead and uh, review those. Uh, any hand really where uh, you can kind of pinpoint the villain's range um, at a certain spot, you can pretty much do it with. Um, the the wider his range, the tougher it is to do because then you you would have to assign um, um, you'd have to assign a pretty wide range into. Um, an equity calculator and um, and that's not tough by itself but it is uh, some work some extra work so um, uh, this has been the uh, PLO drawing uh, review process I I'd like to call it and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh, as always you guys can just leave uh, any comments any ideas or just any thoughts at the bottom uh, right at the bottom of this uh, video in the chat box and um, again thanks for tuning in uh, this has been Alexi for PokerVIP.com.